Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I got one more problem statement. So before jumping into that, uh, I would like to say, like, please check out my channel uh, where I try to upload uh, different kind of a problem statement and try to solve in a simplest manner. If it helps to enhance your skills, please do like and subscribe my channel. So let's come back to the problem statement. So what exactly it is and why? So we have an year slicer which have a single select, let's say 2018, 19, 17 kind of a data. Uh, and we have a sales by subcategory. And this data that I'm using is uh, the sales superstore data, which I will also add the link into the description if you want to perform the same exercise. Now, what exactly the ask is, let's say, since it is a single slicer, so it will display my, that year, particular year sales, okay. And for that given year sales, uh, we want to see whether is there any growth from the previous year or is there any decline in the sales? So what I mean by this is, let's say for 2018 for phones, uh, there is 104K is the sales value, but for 2017, there is an 89K. So there is an improvement or in the sales and we want to see what percentage increment in the sales. And at the same time, they want to see if if it is an increment in the sales, they want to highlight uh, uh, the data label to, to, let's say, green. If it is a decrease in the sales, then it should be red. Now, the, another task actually that came up is like, this bar color is also should be based on the growth. So these are, so in this particular video, you you will going to have the two, uh, uh, two things that you will learn how to conditional format the bar and conditional format the data labels. So let's get started for this. So for this, I have already created one measure. So I will directly use these things and I will explain in detail what exactly it is. So let me just copy paste this thing here, create a new measure. And let me this. So let me go. This. So since we have selected, let's say 2018, this particular variable will extract the 2018 and we want to calculate the previous year sales at the same time. So uh, current year minus, current selected year minus previous year. Based on these two, we are calculating the sales. Sales for the maximum year, sales for the previous year. And then after that, if your previous year is, let's say if we have some previous year, for example, let's say we have data or from 2015. If you are selecting 2016, then this particularly if condition will trigger and calculate the percentage. Let's see if you have selected 2015, then there will be no previous year and that particular, this particular will throw an error. Or I would say there will be no sales calculation for be there. So for that particular case, we have uh, in, uh, initialized the blank. So whenever minimum year is selected, then the previous year sales will not be there. And for in that place, we will return the blank. Now, let's say if it returns the blank, okay, then there should not be any change in the sales value since let's say 2015 is selected, there is no data for 2014. So there is no change in the data. So whatever we have, we have to display it uh, without uh, 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 being getting any, any error. So it will display no change. And if there is any change, then it will be a growth value. It will be a, uh, it will be, it can be positive, negative, both side. So let's hit enter and let's use this particular feature in your data label section. So I have to go to this data label section we have to go to the detail section in detail section we have to select the particular measure that we have created so i have to go and select these things if you see we have the measure now here now here is the one thing that you have to notice is like it's in decimal places it's not in the correct format so what you can do for this click on the measure that you have created once you click your measure tool will pop up in measure tool will tool if it is a numeric values then it will ask you whether you want in dollars or whether you want in let's say uh, percentage so let's click on the percentages value and we have the two decimal places so these percentages will come now since now one more modification to can do is like on the layout front whether you want first sales value below that you want uh you want uh, let's say increase in percentage or decrease in percentage so this kind of a thing that also can be done here and so let let me go with this thing so and what exactly we want to uh, create is something like this so if you see green color shows the percentage increase in the sales red color shows for machine let's say percentage decrease in the sales so for this 
let's see now again i will select this chart go into this now what we need we need the conditional formatting for conditional formatting for the data labels we need to create one more measure that will be like this let's see data actually this can be used in the both bar and yes so data format color if sales growth my measure is greater than or equals to zero then one else zero so again i am iterating if my the growth is positive then return me one if my growth is negative then return me zero let it enter so let's go with the data label first we will change the con uh, conditional format for this so we have to again go to data label section here we have to go to detail section and if you see here the color section has the fx and the con uh, currently it is being uh, having the default color let's go here click on fx then go to rules then uh, color format data color we have selected we have to select equals to number if it is equals to zero which, which means there is a decline in the sales so what we can do mark it as red if there is an increase in sales let's say equals to one number and then we can have the green color so this has been down and let's say okay so if you see this has been marked as green and this has been marked as red so whenever there is a decrease in sales, there will be red. And what we can do again is like, let's add the background to this and background, let's add the black color and let's have transparency reduce. Let me reduce the transparency here. And what we can do here uh, for values in data labels, we have to go to values and change the color to, let's say white. This looks good. So for phones this is the total sales and this is the total increase in the sales value so what we can do is uh, here again let's change into thousands it makes more sense so for chair for 2018 there is a 93k is the sales value and there is an increase in 13 percent from with respect to 2017 so this is how your storyline goes on okay and let me do one more thing browse let me add the color bit of formatting so this this is something based on your dashboard with respect to what color you want what kind of a formatting colors the color visualization totally depends on your background and what are you using now same measure i can use also for the bar color if you see because we have already created that uh, so we have to go to column again hit this and we have to use data format if it is zero number then give me red color if it is equals to one number then hit me the green color again this color choice can be done from your which color palette you want to use hx based on your hx code you can use for the sake of demonstration purpose i'm using in the random green color so if i just hit okay if you see for phone there is a clearly uh, increase in the sales and how much is the increase 34 percent and likewise for all for let's say for machine for 2018 there is a total 44k is the sales value but there is a decline of 22 percent so this is how you can uh, create these things let's say let me hit 2016 if I select the 2016, then there should be change. If so, there is a quite sharp decrease in for many multiple categories, subcategories. So, and if I hit 2016, everything is there. If we see no change is there, no change because we do not have data for 2014. So it has to be, we have to give some default color to that. Or you can do one more thing, like uh, just add a default value for let's say minimum year color. You can give one more rules to that and create a measure based on this. So. Hope you are able to follow till this point that how you can show uh, the data labels, the change with respect to the previous year, as well as conditional format, both bar and the data labels. Uh, if you are able to follow till this point, please check out my 
YouTube channel and please like the video and subscribe uh, my uh, subscribe the channel. Thank you so much. Follow for more Power BI updates.